My daughter and I are here. We're taking a look at the IronBot kit by RoboSpace. So we'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. This is a, a new product that's on Indiegogo right now. So we were able to get a, a kit to look at. Well, inside we have an instruction manual. The instruction manual starts off with kind of a robot encyclopedia, so the history of robots. And we've got let me just see, and some information on what IronBot can do in the different modes. You can have it as a two-axis cradle, you can make it a humanoid, you can do a biped, and you can do an industrial arm. Uh, we're going to focus on the humanoid because that seems to have the most features and uh, I think that will be the best one for the purpose of this test and review. And then when you get into it, it has building instructions and programming instructions. The building instructions are very similar to the common brick building system. So if your kids are familiar with those, they should adapt to this pretty easily. Uh, English words needed, Chinese, and then also the, the illustrations to go by. So, uh, that's it for manual. We'll deal with that later. And then here are the pieces. We have the red version of the iron bot. It does come in blue and black. That's fine. So, we have pieces like this. This is the phone stand. So, when it is the humanoid robot, you can put the phone in here and it actually connects in and becomes the brains of the, the robot. Um, if we look at some of the pieces, you can actually see that they are metal. So this is going to be a nice durable kit. It has a lot of different attachment points. And you know, all the pieces are different, so they have different functions and do different things. Okay. Look under the phone stand. So here, these are the arms or the claws for when it's the industrial robot. We've got some ball bearings to help it turn easier. We've got some gaskets, some nuts, and some extra little, what they are calling rudder discs. Uh, these are the same discs that you see down here on the servos, because the last two don't have them on there. So we got two here for their needed. We've got... Uh, two different sizes of screws in here. Another bag with another size of screws. And we have a lot of them in here. It's going to take a lot of these to put it together. And they provided us a nice little Allen wrench. So on this side it's the traditional looking Allen wrench. And on this side, <coughs> excuse me, it's the kind of the ball one. So this lets us come in at an angle. So if there's a piece that's hard to get to, you can come in at an angle and tighten it. So it's nice that they included that. And these are some of the, the bigger plates. I think these might actually be the feet of the robot for it to stand and walk around on. We have a power supply for it. We've got some um, cabling here. And I'm hiding behind the cabling. We have another little circuit board. Hard to get to at the moment. But uh, so we got one circuit board there. We have another circuit board here. Oops. Got something that lit up. But, oh, and there's the battery. So that's what's going to uh, power the robot. And that's fine. And then we have the, the cord here to charge it or maybe even run it off power directly if the battery's not charged. And then we've got some adapter cables, which probably interconnect the, the two circuit boards together. That would be my guess. But uh, we'll figure this all out when we start building it. So we've got 10 different servo motors here, so we can have up to 10 axis of movement and uh, a lot of neat little pieces here to put together so I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So we will 
start working on the humanoid robot. We will do the assembly of that as a series of photographs through the different stages, just so we're not boring you with tons of video. Uh, and then we'll have some video of the final product assembled and up and running. Alright, thank you.